What is the leap year rule? Hello and welcome to this enlightening journey into the fascinating world of leap years. Today, we're going to unravel the intriguing leap year rule that helps us keep our calendar aligned with the Earth's revolutions around the Sun. You'll see that there's more to it than just every four years, as we go deep into the leap year rule. What is a leap year? A leap year is a year, occurring once every four years, which has 366 days including the 29th of February as an intercalary day. It is added to keep our modern-day Gregorian calendar in alignment with the Earth's revolutions around the Sun. Without the addition of these extra days, our calendar would slowly drift out of sync with the solar year. So, what is the leap year rule? The leap year rule can be broken down into three conditions. One. If a year is divisible by four, it is a leap year. Two. But wait, there's a catch. If that year is also divisible by 100, then it isn't a leap year. Three. However, there's a twist. If that year is divisible by 400, then it is indeed a leap year. This might sound a bit confusing, but it's designed this way to account for the slight mismatch in the length of the solar year and our calendar year. To put it into perspective, if we only used the divisible by four inches rule without the other two, we would end up with too many leap years, and our calendar would gradually run ahead of the solar year. Examples to illustrate the leap year rule. Let's look at some examples. The year 2000, it's divisible by four, 100, and 400, so yes, it's a leap year. The year 1900, while it's divisible by 4 and 100, it's not divisible by 400, so it's not a leap year. The year 2024. It's divisible by 4, but not 100 or 400, so yes, it's a leap year. Understanding the leap year rule is a fantastic way to appreciate how precise our timekeeping systems need to be to stay in line with the Earth's revolutions around the Sun. With this knowledge, you can now figure out which years are leap years and which are not, I hope this discussion about the leap year rule has been helpful and informative for you. Thank you for joining this journey into the depths of our calendar system.